what's going on youtube today we're gonna look at some italian aircraft so yeah before i get started i like to say that my discord server is in the description below you can join if you want you don't have to but let's just get started the first aircraft we're going to be looking at today is the air for ariete which is basically the sagittarius big brother now this would be rank five after the sagittario too obviously and you'd be an 87 aircraft now, assuming the Sagittarius moves down because, well, we all know that its model is not going to be correct because it's an early jet. We all know that all the early jets are nowhere near the realistic performance. They are a lot more sluggish than they are in the, the game. But this would be a good performing aircraft in War Thunder because you got two engines. you got one under the cockpit where the Sagittario engine is, and you got one at the back end of the aircraft with... They are two completely different engines. You got a Rolls Royce Derwent 9 turbojet engine, and you got a Rolls Royce RSR2 Soar turbojet, turbojet engine, which I don't know why they did that. It's probably because one engine was bigger than the other, and you kind of had a lot more space at the back than at the front. So these two engines propel you to a decent speed. Now, if you look it up, it says this vehicle can go Mach 1. That is not true. It can only go 699 miles per hour, or 1100 kilometers per hour which is not near Mach that is 760 miles per hour which you know you could probably go Mach 1 if you were in a dive but ain't gonna happen at the deck armament you got the 230 millimeter HSA 25 cannons you got a service ceiling of 12,000 meters or about 39,000 feet you're a 31 foot aircraft when it comes to length I mean, you're bigger than the Sagittario, mainly because of that engine at the back. you got a wingspan of 24 feet and a height of 10 feet, 9 inches. Other than that, it's just a Sagittario, but apparently on steroids. So, yeah. This next vehicle is the Venom FB-50. You might know it because we got those things all over the place. We got one for, oh, I don't even know anymore. We got one for Britain. I think Britain's the only nation that has a Venom. But the Vampires are a different story, which is where this thing would come after, is the Vampire FB-52A for the Italian tech tree. Now, the picture, don't mind it, is a British aircraft because Italy apparently had no photographers over there taking pictures of their Venoms, but they did have them, though. So, you're an 87 aircraft alongside all the others. You're... Only going 640 miles per hour, which is a decent top speed, but at the same time, you're not all that maneuverable because, I mean, look at the aircraft. You're a bit of a slugger, which that 640 miles per hour equates to about 1030 kilometers per hour. So the engine is propelling you to that speed is the de Havilland Ghost 103 centrifugal flow turbojet engine, which, I mean, in War Thunder, it doesn't matter. In real life, it's a different story. But armament-wise, you're only carrying four 20mm Spanos, which they're a pretty easy gun to get used to. I mean, right about every British aircraft has it. So, yeah. Your service ceiling is about 39,400 feet or 12,000 meters. And you got a range of about 1080 miles or 1740 kilometers. But, I mean, that's a good... That's about good because you don't have an afterburner bleeding all that fuel so quick so i guess that's good and when it comes to your dimensions you're a 30 foot long aircraft 34 foot i guess 35 feet wide wingspan wings it wing tip to wing tip with the fuel pods and you're a height of six feet two inches so i mean you don't have that huge honk and tail because you got the twin boom so you don't have to worry about all that and yeah this next vehicle is the MB-326G, which is a trainer jet. You might know it from all the other, well, you might not know this specific aircraft, but you might know like the 346 and the 339 from the other Italian videos, which I did include them in. This one, alongside those ones, would be in the F-84 line. And this one would be after the F-84F at 87, which is kind of weird, but we don't worry about it. It's an 87 aircraft. You're powered by the Bristol Sidley Viper 20 turbojet engine, which propels you to a max speed of right about 539 miles per hour or 867 kilometers per hour. 
get a max service range of 1,850 kilometers or 1,150 miles, which is good for large maps because that's apparently all you're seeing nowadays because, I mean, I was using my A2D on a little, it was a few weeks ago, and I was getting EC maps left, right, and center, so you kind of got to talk about the range if you're wanting to implement jet, air, jet aircraft because they tend to use fuel. But other than that, you got a service ceiling of 14,325 meters or 46,998 feet. Your dimensions are your 30 foot four, your, your 34 foot long aircraft. You got a 35 foot wingspan and you're 12 feet from the ground up to the tip of the tail. Other than that, your armament consists of two 7.7 millimeter machine guns in gun pods. They are an optional weapon, but assuming guides will give it a custom loadout you could probably use one of those alongside like all the other things which you got bombs rockets and all that blah, blah, blah. and you got the as-12 nords which are the well nord missiles you can find on the g91s which everybody used to cry about before they got that huge nerf a little while back so wouldn't be all that important but other than that it's about it for the italian tree tomorrow we're gonna look at some french aircraft and yeah tune into that one so yeah